Well, the sanctions that are in place, um, they have not deterred Iran from going further with its nuclear program. They've been in place since the 90s, uh, first in the United States and then elsewhere. But Iran continues to do its nuclear work. Uh, the sanctions, on the other hand, are getting tighter. And American officials express the view that they believe that Iran is on the cusp of being compelled to give up its uh, resistance to um, compliance. So Iran um, has been uh, resilient in continuing its nuclear program regardless of the sanctions. The sanctions have damaged uh, Iran's economy. There's no question about that. They are causing pain. But the Iranians have invested a huge amount of resources in money and political risk into this nuclear program. And up until now, the sanctions have not deterred Iran. We don't know very much about the nature of the Iranian program at this point. The United States nucle uh, nuclear uh, intelligence uh, agencies and you know, the, the, the labs, the, the agencies, the United States government put together a intelligence assessment on Iran in 2007, which concluded that in its view, the nuclear weapons development activities in Iran had been terminated or had been uh, put aside. Uh, the IAEA's report includes a suggestion that these activities are continuing. Um, last month, uh, in a speech that was given by uh, Tom Donilon from the uh, National Security Council, Mr. Donilon talked about Iran's continued reckless pursuit of its nuclear program. No one in the U.S. government has qualified the NIE. No one has said that the NIE is no longer accurate. But what we've seen in recent weeks is a certain escalation of concern about this nuclear program by Israel. The Israelis have given the P5 countries to understand that their patience is running out, that Iran uh, Iran's nuclear uh, program, the continued development of nuclear activities by Iran over the next six to 12 months could prompt Israel to strike at nuclear installations in Iran. We don't know uh, whether that is going to take place. Um, there is a great deal of speculation, of course, in the media and among governments about whether the Israelis would do such a thing. But uh, it would be very well advised for the United States and the rest of the P5 to consider appropriate steps um, together with Israel, together with Iran, to walk this back and make sure that during 2012 there is no such uh, attack. There is a considerable debate as to whether or not the IEA is in its power, is acting under its mandate to investigate these activities. Um, it's no doubt in my mind that in the broadest context of the IEA's responsibility, namely to determine um, whether Iran is fulfilling its obligations under the Non-Proliferation Treaty, that particularly in view of the fact that the international community uh, has requested that the IAEA investigate this nuclear program, that it is clearly in everybody's interests, yours and mine, for the IAEA to find out about, investigate, and determine whether or not there are activities in Iran of a nuclear nature which are taking place which are not for peaceful use. It's been suggested that the IEA could have been 
uh, more sensitive to how delicate the matter is. They went into considerable detail about Iranian activities, and the Iranians, as could be predicted, um, asserted, alleged that the publication of this report exposed Iran to uh, future attacks, and terrorist attacks or personal attacks and sabotage against its nuclear facilities and its personnel. But the IEA report didn't do two things, which, uh, which is significant. It did not assign any political responsibility for any of the activities described in the report. That means that it did not state on the basis of its information that Iran had taken this decision to develop a nuclear weapon. That's not in the report. That's a matter of discussion between, that will be a matter of discussion between Iran and the members of the board, members of the Security Council will get into that with Iran if a negotiation does ever emerge. Secondly, the IEA report um, did not state that Iran had done all the work necessary to develop a nuclear weapon. If, if my information is correct, the IEA's dossier comes very close to making a determination that Iran is indeed on the brink of having the know-how for developing, for building an implosion nuclear device using highly enriched uranium. That determination, however, is not found in the report itself, suggesting that there, in fact, may be no consensus in the entire IEA system to draw that conclusion. Were the IEA in position to make a determination that the program in Iran is peaceful? And were the Iranians willing to commit themselves not to pursue certain sensitive nuclear activities in the future? It might be then possible to conclude an agreement with Iran whereby Iran would continue its nuclear program, would continue uranium enrichment would resume nuclear commerce with the member states of the world and of the West. But that would also mean that sanctions against Iran would be lifted. This would be an avenue toward a negotiated solution. In 2012, I have my very serious thoughts we're not going to be there. The United States presidential election virtually forecloses that opportunity. The U.S. and its allies, together with Russia and China, and Israel and Iran should be looking for a band-aid which during the course of 2012 will, pr will prevent this crisis from escalating and spinning out of control. Israelis, the Iranians, the P5 countries uh, should be meeting to make sure that during 2012, a time when the United States in a a bitter election campaign will not be able to take any leadership, that during this year, 2012, that uh, steps are taken to de-escalate this crisis and move us into 2013 when it is possible that perhaps after a U.S. election and after other steps are taken and cooler heads prevail, that we may move into a position where re-engagement may be possible.